Oh, hello there. I just got out the doctor after Smokey took me arm and I have to admit, Mama's got the nasty jam, that's for sure. Uh, so what we're going to be doing today, now that I'm feeling a little better, is uh, we're going to be finding Smokey the Bear and we're going to be teaching him what we do to little uh, little uh, Mama Jamas like him back home after they take your arm. So yeah, look forward to that. Uh, but we can't just go out there in these regular clothes. No, 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 no. You gotta be crazy if you're thinking we're gonna go out there we're looking like this after Smokey took me arm. That's, that's craziness. We gonna go find a nice new uniform for Hunted Smokey the Bear. Follow me. Right, so, right, so here we have our first piece of uh, merchandise. And uh, this'll, this'll do fine, this'll do just fine. So what we got here is we got the old, we got the old, this guy right here, and uh, we got a nice, nice little thing to keep us warm underneath. Uh, and we got these blending in pants. Smokey will never see us coming in these bad boys. So uh, right now we're looking to, for some uh, footwear to outrun the beast, but uh, if worse comes to worse, barefoot. I'll just go barefoot. Oh hello. So here we are, we got our new survival clothes on, now we are ready to survive. So we're going to be taking a look at how to survive in the wild, part one. Alright, so first off, we need some warmth. So we're going to take, oh look what we got right here. We got some nice dry branches. Alright, so you want to get as much of this off as you can and uh, you want to throw it you want to find an appropriate place for a fire so we're not trying to light the woods on fire here so as you can see we got a nice little damp hole here so what we do is you put your put your starter in there we need something oh careful safety first in the in the woods we need something to maintain a flame so that's what this sucker's for so this is what I like to call uh, stage two fire starter so i'm gonna put that on there what we got here is our nice ignition tool and uh you just want to light light it should start almost instantly okay so we're having a little bit of difficulty uh it is quite wet out so it's going to be more or less a little difficult Oh no. So we got a little bit of trouble here. So what will we do? Well, I'll show you. Follow me. Right, so as you can see, we weren't able to maintain any kind of flame long enough to light the wood. So what we want to do is find something even more dry and flammable, like my friend Bushy right here. So we want to, you know, take him. Take him and his friend, you know, a couple of little bush friends. And we want to stick them together, nice and dry. Put it right on top there, you know, squish it down a little bit. Here we go, boys. Oh yeah, this is working like a charm. Um, so there seems to be some other difficulties. So let's move on to step number two. <laughs> All right, so second step of survival is to make sure that you're not being tracked by a predator like Smokey the Bear. So as you can see, we're in Smokey's home. This is his territory. All the surrounding forest and bush here. So, you know, that, uh, that banana bender's got something coming. So what we want to find is his little cave. Then we are going to bring the party to him. Let's go. All right, come over here. Come follow me over here. So as you can see, these nice flat rocks here are probably where Smokey's been sleeping when he's on the hunt. 
and he doesn't want to return to his home base. So we are on the right trail here. So if you see right here, this rock, there's a nice big crack in it right here. That is most likely from uh, Smoke of the Bear. Uh, that's all there is to say. <clears throat> all right, so if we take a look down here, this looks like the entrance to a cave. So that could most likely be a portion of Smokey's cave. So obviously we don't want to go down there right now. We're not ready. So this brings us to step number three, having a light source for your cave. So as you can see, I got me a stick already prepared. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna find a way to prop this up while we get our fire started for our torch. So we just want to find something like this. Um, if this is gonna, this is quite tough material. They use it to build our armor back for the samurai. So it'll do just fine for our nice little uh, torch. So as you can see, we've got our fibers here. Uh, what we want to do, just you know, twist them together. You know, get them all nice and make them one. You know. So now that we've got them all together, we want to take our torch stick, stick it like this, you know, tie it all nice together, and then once it's on there real nice, we want to light it. So hopefully this works this time. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Oh, yes. All right, as you can see, this will burn just real noise. Oh yeah, so this will give off quite a fine amount of light when you're in a cave. You won't need much more than this. <clears throat> Whew, a little bit of Smokey there. See what I did there. <laughs> right, so as we can see, Smokey's definitely done his work here. He's karate chopped a tree right through the middle. Nice clean cut. Look at this. What, who even knows what happened to this here? Smokey definitely, you know, did his work here. So what we are finding ourselves in is what we call in the industry a bit of a huckle buckle. So we, for us, that's a good sign. But for the average human being, you do not want to be in a huckle buckle. So right now, we're going to keep following the trail. Let's go. So as we can see here, Smokey has uprooted an entire tree. It's even got a big rock in there. So we can see the immense strength that he brings to the table in terms of aggression and murder capabilities. So we want to be really careful because if Smokey catches us off guard, we're in big doo-doo. So we're going to keep our voices down from now on and we're going to keep following the trail because we got to catch this little Smoker boy. All right, so... Here we are in the bush. Uh, Smokey has no chance. We're gonna go, we're hot on his trail. We can see, it's very obvious he's come right through here. You can see the Smokey trail. So we're almost there. I can smell him from here. Follow me, let's go. So we're coming right through the bush here. All right, come on, come on, let's go. <laughs> Hurry it up. So, I can tell we're hot on his trail. We're almost there. Uh, as we can see, the complete destruction that Smokey has caused in these woods is unbelievable. And we need to just distinguish this beast. <clears throat> so, we found it, boys. Take a nice big look. Uh, yes, you are correct. This is Smokey's lair. So, we are so close, I can literally feel him mauling me as we speak. So, we gotta do this quick. But you know what? You always have to remember. Because we are safety first around here, so... You gotta remember that we are in the fall time right now. What does that mean, you may be asking? Well, that means we don't have any berries. The berries are not here anymore. So either you gotta bring your own, or you can't spend too long in the in the bush out here so you might die 
if you don't have your berries. I would always suggest burying up before you go out in the bush. Never leave home without some spare berries. I've already used all my berries, so we're in a bit of a pickle here, but uh, you know, we're gonna find Smokey nevertheless. As you can see on the, the floor here, we got this nice little bush. It's just a little baby bush, you know? He's gonna grow into a big bush one day, but for now, he's just a little baby. So, what we uh, refer to these as back in back home is uh, we refer to them as the old mama jamas. You may have heard of this term. Basically, uh, they gonna kill you if you don't kill them first. So, what you gotta do? Dig right down there. Just wanna. Oh no! Look what's happened here. You know what that means. That's right, boys. We're gonna take these little suckers. We're gonna teach them how we do it. So here we go. One, two, three. Here we go. We're pulling them out. Four. Oh, we got two in that one. Seven. Here we go. Do you see this? Come close, come close. Oh no. Oh, this can't be. It seems as we were taking on a little side project, killing the bane of the Earth's existence, the little plant, we found something much, much worse. Take a look right in here. All right, so it seems this is where Smokey hides all of his uh, contraband. Oh no, this is a disaster. It's, oh, it's fresh. He's been here recently. We gotta go. So, it's a very sad time. We gotta go fast here, but we can't take all this luggage. So I'm saying goodbye to my partner crime, Little Stick. And so, it's been good, my Little Stick. And I'd like to wish you farewell. This is a disaster. Seems to be a root here. A little sick. You can join your friend, your family, and become a big tree one day. Farewell. All right. So, follow me. Uh, I guess you're wondering, probably by now, how I got me arm back. Oh, Smokey got me arm. Oh. And uh, let's just say I had some really nice doctors. It's a fake arm, but uh, you know, it works. I'm pretty sure you're looking at the wrong arm, actually. I was just gesturing. It was this arm. This arm's fake. This one's 100% real. Uh, so, yeah, great. It's perfect. You know, I went to the hospital. They put the arm back on. It's fantastic. So, you know, back in uh, Australia, they would have called this the, uh, the uh, a misadventure. Basically, we're in a lot of uh, trouble right now, so let's keep moving. All right, so it looks like we've successfully escaped Smoke and the Bear. Oh no, oh no! Oh! Oh, 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 no, Smokey, no, oh, Smokey, oh. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places, worn out faces, bright and early for the day. No expression, no expression.